Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this doesn't work. Let's get open for business and let's wake up the football gods up there. So, guys, it's Monday, uh, soon to be lunchtime. We'll be live streaming tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern, talking about the Dallas Cowboys rookie uh, mini camps that are over as we await for the team to get together next week on the field next Tuesday. We're still hoping and waiting that the deal gets done for Dak Prescott's contract and stuff, so we have that. We got Zeke Elliott, who's looking like a beast, who's looking to get paid, as well as Amari Cooper. So there's always a lot happening with our Dallas Cowboys. But this is one of those videos that will piss off Eagle fans. In fact, it'll probably piss off some Cowboy fans because people get upset when I talk about other teams in the division. You know, the Redskins, the Giants, and the Eagles. And understand, you need to know what the competition is doing. You need to know what the enemy is doing. You don't go to war and just show up and fight. You do spy work. You do reconnaissance. You talk to the people. You try and find out where you can get an advantage. And make no mistake about it. Football is war, and we are going to war with the Philadelphia Eagles. The question is, who will be leading the Philadelphia Eagles? Now, I'm kind of curious here. You know, I, I'm, I'm not that bright, and I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan, but is it time for the Philadelphia Eagles and fans to be worried about Carson Wentz? Let's check this clip of Doug Peterson this past week talking about Carson Wentz and his availability. He's been working, uh, encouraged by his progress and where he's at, and, and uh, just looking forward to, uh, you know, the next few weeks with him. When OTAs start in less than two weeks, we'll be How does that pertain to rookie minicamp? It's all about Carson, right? No, it's about the rookies that are in this weekend. So you won't say if he's going to be on the field? Not right now, not until we get to that point. Wow. Is it me, or does he seem a little bit touchy when it comes to Carson Wentz? He doesn't want to answer these questions about him, you know, doesn't want to say, oh, he's good, he's fine, and all that. How does that pertain? He is being, well, maybe Bill Belichick. He really don't want to know people to know what's going on. But clearly, something's going on. Understand, he was injured apparently a few weeks before the Dallas Cowboys game and still played. Hats off to him. And hats off to all NFL players that play through injuries. And I'm not wishing bad on anybody else. I'm putting out there my own personal thoughts. I'm not a doctor. I don't play one here. I just go through, I do some research and stuff on it. But here's what I want to understand because the November 11th game in Dallas, Dallas Cowboys ended up winning in overtime, uh, shootout in the fourth quarter. That was the last game Carson Wentz played, November 11th. So we're talking about December, January, February. March, April, May, six months later for a back stress fracture. Now, again, I am not, I'm not a doctor. I don't play one here on TV or anything like that. But basically what it is is it's not a, a stress fracture is it's a crack. It's not a break, a clean break pops together. It's where it's gotten stressed and it starts to break. It's kind of like when you break a twig and it kind of cracks and it's still green, but it's not all the way through. They usually go back together. Now they say the typical recovery time for a back stress fracture is six to 12 weeks. So that's a month and a half to three months. We're six months away. We're six months away from when he got hurt. To give you an example, Tony Romo fractured not one, but two 
transverse processes in his back. And he played two weeks later. He ended up hurting his back again August 25th. And he was back on the active roster November 20th. 12 weeks away. So the question is, is there more going on with Carson Wentz than we know? Now, he, it may be, knowing, having, this I can, I can attest to. I've got two bad knees, one of which I messed up in high school where I tore my ACL. Went on, tried to come into Catholic in college, played college football, you know, my knee still was a little unstable, but I had enough strength. As long as my leg is strong, the muscles are actually holding together. And to this day, I still don't have an ACL, which I was okay with until I actually had a flesh-eating bacteria in my other knee. And they literally ground that sucker to the bone. And during recovery and learning how to walk, I leaned on the other knee that didn't have an ACL and continue to this day to lean on that one more. The problem is, is I got bone on bone. But what happens when you start favoring or changing what you're doing because of an injury, you know, the knee bones connected to the thigh bone, the thigh bones connected to the tailbone, all that stuff, what happens is your body changes position to compensate because it's always going to try and keep a center of gravity. So if I lean one way, then my back is turning. And that may be part of the problem that happened with his back. I don't know. I'm just guesstimating, okay? I'm just putting it out there what I personally believe. So it changes what you are doing because of the injury that you're compensating for. You're wearing a knee brace. You've got more weight on one side and things, you know? And you're going to favor it because you're still not quite sure, so you don't want to get hit. So you're kind of leaning the other way and stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on with the back. But six months seems like a long time. And we're still talking about, Another week and a half before OTAs begin for him. Now, that's not to say he's not going to be ready by training camp. I'm sure that he will be. But you're looking at a guy who is young. It's not like he's an old fart like me that, you know, takes a minute or two to get going. He's 24 or 25 years old. And we're talking about a stress fracture where over six months. And you have to wonder if one of the moves that the Eagles ended up doing, signing Kobe Kessler to a contract, is the Eagles are worried about Carson Wentz's back. I think we definitely need to stay tuned to this situation and see how bad it is. Um, yeah, that should have been a, a problem that should have healed by now. And I'll give you, I'll give you another example. I want you to think about Alan Hearns literally having his leg completely broken in one of the most gruesome shots you will see, compound. He's running again. He'll be ready for training camp. Just a little food for thought, guys. Just a little food for thought. Hope you guys tune in tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, to uh, check out our live stream. Guys, oh, wow. The power of the Internet. I have, I, I, I love the software. I've never been a computer guy. I've never been an AV guy. Hell, I've never been a YouTube guy. But if you work at stuff long enough, you start figuring it out. And I have this software program, Livestream Studio, that you guys have been bearing with me. You know, I couldn't figure out the delay set, you know, where I was talking, but you, it wasn't syncing up. I learned how to fix that and stuff. Um, you know, I'd have audio issues, and then I'd have to go to my cell phone and turn on the video, which is, you know, 15 seconds delayed and stuff, and try and hear it on there. Finally, after two years of having this mixer, I finally learned out how you can actually hear the broadcast through the headphones. <laughs> yeah, I sound like an idiot, but it's true. 
<coughs> and so one of the things that we're going to be able to do is you, the fan, let's say you're at AT&T Stadium watching a game. You're out tailgating like Miss Jackie or something. I can make you a remote reporter for the Joe Blue Sports Report. You can use your cell phone and you can be live here on the Joe Blue Sports Report. I'm constantly trying to figure this stuff out. I am literally building a studio from the ground up without having any knowledge on it. By the time we get to the season, you're going to see some stuff that's going to be really freaking awesome. So I'm going to keep on working at this. I'm going to keep investing in it. I'm going to be spending my time with this. And hopefully tonight I'll have, have it pretty much all together and you'll have a good time with it. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'm keeping you up to date with all there is with the Dallas Cowboys and the NFC East. I'll see you soon.